Okay? And he said, pray my name for a reason. Does anybody know the reason? I mean, at the end of prayer, they'll say, in Jesus' name. I'm going to pray in Jesus' name. And I'm going to pray in your name. Why? I mean, what's the deal? Power. What's that? Power. Power? What? Authority? Okay, power, authority. The, the thing is, right before that, he said, when I was on, when I was on the earth... I did everything to magnify and glorify my Father. I wanted to make Him pleased and happy. He's like, so when I go to heaven, I want to do the exact same thing. So ask in my name and I'll do it. Okay? Ask in my name and I'll do it. And I, and I can't help, I was reading this morning again, where he's like, you know, if your kids want food, don't you give it to them? Right? He says, how much more if you want the Holy Spirit in your life to do something special, to, to be here, to be in your life, how much more will the Father give you? The Holy Spirit. Amen. And so instead of talking, I thought we'd just take some time to pray this morning. Because I believe we're a praying church. I Amen. believe that God inhabits the praises of His people. Um, and uh, we're going to pray right now. So, But I invite you to kneel. Yes. Okay? If you can. If you can, kneel. Us. Okay. But uh, yeah, we're going to kneel this morning. Some of them. Uh, Lord, I'm reminded that your name is above all names. And only by faith and trust in you that we uh, have the right to life. And uh, we just say thank you. Uh, I know and realize that some of us here have um, all the reason in the world to sing praises to you. And some of us are having a hard time doing that. And God, uh, I know we all come from the same place and have the same nature originally, but... You make such promises to us that you will uh, take care of us, watch over us, um, and that we can just trust all things into you. That if we have anxiety in our life, uh, we need not worry, uh, because your name is above all names. Uh, you're to be praised. I mean, you rose from the dead. No one else has ever done that before. And uh, you have all the right and authority, the Bible says in the book of Ephesians, for your church and for your people. And so we just um, take whatever it is that may ail us this morning, if that be the case, and give that to you. Um, God, give us more praise. Um, give us the opportunity to um, praise you more from, not because we have to, uh, because you are amazing. Um, may our praise be uh, something that you're doing in our lives. I mean, if we stop and look around, uh, we're here. And um, I know that there are others that are in the hospital and, and different things going on, but we're here. And uh, we just have a chance to arrest you today and have life. And so um, I, I praise you, Lord. And may we all praise you and give you the thanks and glory and honor that you deserve uh, for protecting us, for keeping um, some of our marriages together, uh, for, at the same time, for those of us that have failed, Lord, you've brought us from such dark places. Uh, and brought into your marvelous light and I don't want to be cliche but you're awesome God and that's why we're here I invite you into our midst um, and just in a mighty way so that if there's someone here who's really struggling with even you and uh, belief in you or doesn't even matter anymore uh, that they would see through our lives um, that you are alive and that you're real uh, you're everything and um, yeah so get all the glory and honor Lord um, we also have a chance to thank you for what we have. And we get a chance to give that back. Lord, we give you our hearts, we give you our lives, and uh, we also give you the money that you've entrusted us so that um, those in darkness can find light, that they can enjoy what we have. And so uh, thank you for those things also. Uh, help us to give with a cheerful heart um, every aspect of our life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.